My name is Rahel Dean Pelican. I work for Northern Star Resources. I'm a mining engineer uh, working in Joan Blast right now. I've been in the mining industry for about three and a half years and part of SME since my freshman year in university in 2014, so that's 11 years now. I randomly got into mining. I actually wanted to be a reconstructive surgeon, so I was gonna go to med school and then become a surgeon. My senior year in high school, I had the Colorado School of Mines send me some mail recruiting me because uh, I really liked math and science. And from there, my dad told me mining could be cool. I had an older brother that went to University of Arizona and he had some friends in the mining industry. And they all had internships. So that was a big sell as well, paid internships. So I looked into a mining program uh, because I was kind of banking into getting into my number one school, so I didn't apply to too many. As I looked into mining, it involved a lot of things I enjoyed growing up, which was traveling, I liked rocks, I liked camping. So it kind of is an industry that incorporates all those interests. Explosives are pretty cool, so being told you can blow stuff up was a, a big perk. So I just took it, ran with it, applied to a few mining schools, and then I ended up going to South Dakota School of Mines. Being an SME member, there's a lot of benefits. I think a big benefit for me is the networking and meeting various people from all over the world, different companies, operations, contractors, vendors. So it really gives you a bigger view of what is mining and how you can be involved in mining. The fact, you know, every mining company needs HR, they need finance guys, they need everything. So you can be whatever you want in mining. And I really like that aspect. And I think within SME, you can really see that. If I could talk to my younger self about getting into the industry, I would say get as involved as you could in your student chapters, SME, learn more about mining. I didn't come from a mining family background, so I knew absolutely nothing when I went to school. Everything I learned was from classes or through the organizations, and I definitely could have been even more involved in the SME student chapter. Unfortunately, I was involved in way too many things, so I had to pick and choose. But another thing that was of great help was the I was a part of the mine rescue team at my school and the mining and mucking competition teams. So I would encourage students to get involved in those. They're great ways to learn about traditional mining, gain new skill sets, and also network with people and other students around the globe. I think some of the challenges to overcome within the industry, especially not having a mining background, can be imposter syndrome. I think it's, it can be very common, especially um, as you are starting out your career, because I think a lot of people are very aware that they have so much to learn. Um, but I think this is a benefit, like understanding that you have a lot to learn is, is great and using your resources to fill in those gaps and learn more. Um, I think that's the biggest challenge to overcome because it can be hard to ask for help or it can be hard to say, I don't really understand this, can you teach me? But the industry is, is very tight-knit, very family-oriented that I've only found extreme collaboration and people willing to help and teach me things. Join FME!